hi guys welcome back again to my channel my name is mabel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i was able to make my yummy spicy peppered snail okay so you just need a few ingredients for this today i'm using onion red bell pepper i think those were the only vegetables i used i'm just chopping them up now you can chop your vegetables in whatever sizes and shape you choose i also added a little bit of yellow bell pepper just to add a little bit of sweetness to the spiciness okay so here is my snail my snail i'm using frozen snail yes it's already cleaned and washed ready to be used so what i do is just put my snail in a pot a clean dry pot i add all my seasonings i used the seasonings i used are just a few of it no seasoning i also use some mixed spices ginger garlic mixed curry powder, turmeric, some dry pepper, salt to taste, yes, yeah, salt to taste, chopped onion, and then I added a little bit of thyme just to add some really nice flavor and aroma to the food. And then I went on and added a little water. I didn't want to add a little bit of water because I don't want to save any of the snail stock. I want the snail to cook and let all the stock cook with into the snail. That way I don't have to dispose any of the sauce. Because by doing that, you're going to lose some taste and seasoning for cooking the snail. So I used very little water. And that's just me cooking my snail. I put it until it was really soft. I cooked steak, cooked steak until it was real, real soft. Yeah. And then you, of course, taste your food and make sure that all the ingredients are okay. I added a little more salt because I knew, I tasted it and I knew I needed a little more salt. So I cooked it again, like I said, I cooked and it was until it was done. I cooked until all the stock, all the Liquid. So the next step is to bring a clean cooking or frying pan. I just added some canola oil because that's my preference. You can choose to use vegetable oil, olive oil, or whatever oil of your choice. You can also use palm or red oil if you choose. Then I added my vegetables, my chopped vegetables, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and onion. I cooked it a little bit until I felt that it was already cooked. Then I went ahead and added some pepper. So there is my red scotch bonnet or habanero pepper. Usually I pre-cook my pepper and I save it in the refrigerator. So I just went ahead and scooped a bunch, put in the oil and fried it alongside the vegetables. And I went also and I added a little bit of stew sauce or stew base. Yes, I already have cooked stew in the fridge. So Instead of me using fresh starting all over to fry my tomato paste and sauce, I went ahead and used stew, already cooked stew as a base for my snail sauce. I let it fry a little bit and I just went ahead and added the already seasoned and cooked snail. Such an easy process, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. I just go ahead and mix and mix and mix and mix it until I feel like it is well cooked. Because whenever you mix stew, or soup, you tend to know that your food is cooked when you see the oil settle on top of the meal. That means the oil separates from the tomato and everything you're cooking. So I also added whatever leftover stock I had in the pot that I used to cook the snail just to make sure I have something to cook the snail sauce. Well, I didn't add any water because my snail was already cooked and soft. So, I just did this and then I covered the pan and I let it cook for a little bit. Of course, I checked locationally and I also checked in case I needed to add any more seasoning. But because I seasoned the snail very well, I didn't have to add any kind of seasoning. Not even so. But remember to taste yours to see if you need to add extra seasoning. So here is my ready cooked snail. This snail was so yummy. It was so, so good. I'm going to leave a link of how I enjoyed my snail. I ate the snail with fried yam and my husband had his with white rice. You can have it by itself if you choose to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, like, share, leave a comment. 
like share leave a comment and i will see you all in my next video bye